Hi, welcome to another video from Dr. Locke. In my experience in the past uh, few cars that we do, um, there's been a number of cars that ac actually need an OBD type of jumper. And this is what an OBD port looks like right, right here. You have this port underneath the dash. This connects to the car's computer. Each one of these terminals here will all do different things and there's power here, non-power there, to the computer, all different varieties. So basically this port is where you plug in. Now on some of the programming uh, for remote controls and things like that, um, it actually asks you to jump particular terminals. And I, I found this kind of interesting. Being a locksmith, you get your little key ring like this and you, you bend it up. And this is what most people probably do. When you've got to jump this one or that one, you probably end up making a, like a little tool like this out of a key ring, which you have plenty of in your car. And then you come along and you've got to kind of wedge that one in there and touch this one up here. So this video is about that. There's an easier way and it costs you like 30 bucks. It's this one here, OBD two pin outbreak box. Absolute brilliant little invention. Simply just plug it in here. Now, when you are connecting your little piece of wire and things like that and trying to jump from one to the other, you do have the risk and you've got to count the pins. And this is where it's time consuming. When you're looking at this and you're counting, right, one, two, three, four, all the way from this side, you've got to count it. With a box like this, you simply just plug it in. And if you're being told to jump one to 10, you get your plug in there, you get your plug in there and you're done. So simple. These plugs are not the right ones. You just buy them from J cars. You plug it in, plug it in. It's a solid connection. Everything works. You can jump to wherever you need to jump to. You've got your positive, your negative indicated, and you've also got all the other terminals indicated. So it really takes the guesswork out of it. I thought it'd be a quick little video for people who haven't seen an outbreak box. Um, it's a lot better than getting your little piece of wire in like this underneath the dash, counting the pins and squeezing it in there and hope, hopefully